Yeah, give me Tyrantus. Or Deathwing is probably fine too, but I prefer Tyrantus. Ooh! I don't have a shoe near me or I'd put it on my head. You have been. Watch this! Malfurion versus Valera. That did in fact escalate quickly. It turns out a uh, a 4-4 and a 12-12 on turn 7, or actually 6, is pretty difficult to deal with. So, that worked out well for us. It's cool because we can get a 3 attack, Cthune. Nice, yeah. It's the dream, right? Honestly, I can probably deal with Odd Rogue better than, um, better than Kingsbane. And I've got these sweet zombie chows to, uh... Ooh! Neato. I mean, the Tar Creeper is probably better in the early game, but this can, see, this can be a huge like anti-tempo play. It can also like block his thug, so I might just uh, throw it out on turn, um, turn three here. My alternative is I just play a. Well, I need to stop drawing those. I wonder if I need to take the Keliseth out and just run some crabby boys. I could even run like double crab. <laughs> like I could run the uh the hungry crab and the Galaka crawlers. And just make everybody sad. Okay. Ooh, we can floop a tar creeper. That might be worthwhile. Probably not, because it the benefit of the Tar Creeper is the attack, not the, uh, or the, the health, not the attack. Um, play around Skulker? But, I mean, this trade is going to happen eventually anyway. Uh, it plays around nothing, right? But there's, like, no real benefit to putting one to face either, so I think I'm going to take that. In case he has, like, uh, some weird way of killing this. Uh, like uh, Horse Rider Cold Blood, that's a reason too. Have I considered drawing Keliseth and not UI? Um, I thought about it, but I wanted a bit more of a challenge this game, so I decided to draw UI instead of the, the Keliseth. But good question. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry There's the Horse Rider. That's not Cold Blood. I think maybe this is just a Tar Creeper, because how does he deal with that? Uh, Tar Creeper Finley. This goes there. Could double trade into that to play around, like, a Fungal Man. I have to play the Tar Creeper first because I don't want, like, a... Or I could just Hero Power. Hero Power, Finley, Hero Power. And this allows me to save this for maybe the, um, the Spiteful. What are the odds I draw an unplayable card next turn? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do the Hero Power, Finley, Hero Power thing. And get greedy with the Spiteful. Probably be quicker than this, but all right. He doesn't really have a good play into this, other than um, maybe a uh, three-drop hero power. Which honestly, even that isn't very good. Okay, give me uh, something good. Yikes. That is not what I was looking for. I am just going to have to play this out, though. I think two is already enough. I need the body. I need the board presence. Maybe the dagger was worth considering, but... I was like one of four cards that was unplayable in that spot, but at least it's not the second UI. If I top deck the second UI, um, somebody in chat's getting a timeout. This has turned into a Slizzle 466 stream. Beautiful. Whoop! 
Alright, so the first one gets vile spined and we're kinda sad about that, but the second one. That's your money spiteful. Ooh! Double Cthune. How's the stream going? It's going great. It's going great. I'm I'm glad that like after a season of Rude. Yeah, we were kind of expecting that. But I'm glad that after a season of tryharding I can uh I can just goof around with these stupid decks. It probably takes a value trade here. I take the value trade there. Because honestly, I'm not under that much pressure. That's not a good outcome. Uh, we still do just have like uh, a pretty good curve of uh, Twilight Elder into Dark Arcoa into UI, so I think we're fine. Unfortunately, I don't think this game is going long enough to where we can get the double Cthune, but a man can dream. Not that this deck is built around Cthune, not the raw power of Group Two Master. That's true. I'm glad you appreciate it and understand that. Our opponent's probably just gonna like concede immediately after we uh, we play the Cthune buffers because he's going to think, wow, wait, this guy got both Cthunes? That's insane. There's no way I can beat that. And he's right. There will be no way he can beat that. Mm. Do you hear its call? Do you hear its call, chat? Because I do. Yeah, here comes the concede, concede in three, two... No, why is any? It is incredible. You should just quit. You lose this game. Vecklord doesn't make the cut. Nah. I mean, he probably should. I don't actually have him. <laughs> so that's the only reason he's not in this deck right now. Uh, but it, it could be worth considering, especially with the uh, the the Kelseth. That should work with the the Kelseth buff, right? I don't think it should. Oh, you're right, because it's not making a copy. It's summoning. Like a separate minion. Whoa, whoa. Why are you killing all my Cthune buffers? Why are you killing all your own minions? Alright, well, I have to play this at 10 10 before my opponent concedes, so. Boom! Let's see you deal with this, buddy. I'd get a 5-7 and a 4-6. I mean, that's still pretty good. Our opponent doesn't understand that... Uh, oh, he does understand. That two Cthunes in one game is w just way too powerful. Granted, one of them was mechanical, but uh, still had the same effect in that we automatically won the game, so pretty cool. Uh, Lothab is good against Big Priest, which I'm assuming this is, so I'm just going to keep it. Just uh, play the golden one first, because it's shiny. And just make a whole bunch of uh, fireflies. Cthulhu more powerful than Abomination? Or Darkness? I think not. That's a good point. Ticking Abomination especially is the powerful card. Now let's buff up this uh, Cthulhu. Get that going. And then get wrecked completely by Barnes into Yashira here. Coin Barnes into Yashira, of course. Yep, here it comes. Oh. Do I attack these in? I just want to get two hits on that, so I think we just save the one. I just want to not pull like a spiteful. Ugh. That's fine. I take this. Got 
got a reasonable curve. We do want to hit a Spiteful over the Malfurion on 7, I think. Okay. That's uh, not the greatest thing for us. I don't think there's a reason to take out the uh, the Dustbreaker. You get hit pretty hard by a Dragonfire Potion, but, though, but that's always going to be a risk. Yeah. Go ahead and make some spooters. Uh, no, wait. This is just controlled dragon priest, right? Maybe it's, um, maybe it's combo. So there's likely a potion of madness, though. So I don't want to uh, make spooters in this matchup. Brand Fungal Man. That seems pretty powerful. Who knows what secrets will Mushroom power! Set up for a brand dark Arakoa. Yeah, there's the uh is the potion of madness we were playing around? <laughs> That's cute. Hey, right, we still get uh, double taunt, so uh, let's do it this way in case we want to continue buffing our Cthune. We can probably set up a pretty good UI next turn. Which means I probably just want to go ahead and check this here. Set up a trade. That's pretty good. Got 107 and uh, not sure if it's good enough. I I would doubt that it's going to uh, be good enough. It would require like seven people to get DQ'd, which uh, seems pretty unlikely. We should be able to win from here. Tyrantus? Oh yeah. Double Mechathoon. Oh wait. Six plus oh it's lethal. Guys, Mechathoon is a mech. It's the second time we've gotten the double Mechathoon action. Or the double Cthoon action. You guys know what's better than one Cthoon? Two of them. <laughs>